We are looking at some cloud cover sticking around tonight and temperatures that really won't budge much within about 10 degrees for highs and lows the rest of the week. So not a big warm up, not very cold temperatures. Take a look at the uh, radar right now. We still have just a few pockets of some drizzle and even a few flurries that are starting to get rolling through central and southern portions of Butler County just over into western Westmoreland County. A couple of little snow uh, patches of snow there and a couple of uh, spotty showers and some drizzle down into Fayette County. So this will continue to be the case off and on up until around noon tomorrow. 36 degrees right now in Pittsburgh. Winds west-northwest at 7. The temperatures fairly steady across uh, the area all afternoon, all evening, sticking in those mid to upper 30s. We haven't moved much. Warm spot right now is still Morgantown at 38. We're at 37 in Cranberry, Greensburg, Pittsburgh at 36, Butler at 35, and one of the cooler spots, Connellsville, also Clarion, you've dipped down to 31. So at Dick's 24 hours, as I mentioned, the temperature really, there's not that wide of a range between our low and high. We'll only drop down a couple of more degrees by tomorrow morning to 33. And then later on tomorrow afternoon, very similar to today, upper 30s for those afternoon highs. That's very average for the first week of January, right, right where we should be. Here's the uh, satellite radar loop. You see all of that snow and rain, all of that moisture that swept through here over the past 24 hours. It finally got out of here for the most part late this afternoon. And then we just have another little wave of low pressure crossing over eastern Ohio that will keep us unsettled enough that tonight and through the first half of tomorrow, we can't rule out a scattered snow flurry or a little sprinkle in spots. Now, it'll be cold cold enough tomorrow morning, here's 6 a.m. all the way through 6 p.m., that we could see some patchy freezing drizzle in the Laurel Highlands early. But generally, if anything, we'll see up to maybe a coating in the highest elevations of the laurels and up along I-80 as we head all the way through tonight and tomorrow. Then Tuesday, still a chance of a few more early morning flurries. That's it for moisture. The rest of the day and really pretty much the rest of the week, we have a dry forecast. Look at this. A lot of 38 degree highs. Talk about consistency. Normal highs are in the mid 30s. We'll be just a couple of degrees warmer than that almost every day this week. Few snow showers possible tomorrow, mixing with a couple of scattered uh, uh, spots of patchy drizzle or even freezing drizzle in the Laurel Highlands. That would be first thing tomorrow morning. Tuesday, a morning rain or snow shower just in spots, just a slight chance. Really not much chance for measurable precipitation at all over the next couple of days. And then Wednesday, still mostly cloudy and we start a drying trend question is, will we see any sunshine? Well, as we head through Thursday and Friday, not much, but as we head toward the weekend, just a touch of a cool down Saturday, 33 the high there, below normal, and then Sunday, partly cloudy, 38 degrees, and right now, if the forecast holds, it looks like the weather would be dry and fairly comfortable for that evening Steelers playoff game. So we'll have to keep our eyes on that, but overall, a pretty comfortable start to the first week of 2021.